Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video in Planner app. Today we will implement creating new items inside uh, the plan. Okay, so as you can see here, after we retrieve the plan, we can show the items here related to that plan, checkbox, remove, and uh, this little form here to add a new item or uh, edit. And this video will implement only create so we can say second item submit okay the item is being added successfully so let's get started if you remember here we have inside the ui we have two parts the first one which contain the plan details so we can edit them and the second one contain the items that are related for these plans this is just the general layout of it, but there is no items to know. Okay, now what you are going to do to let the user able to manage the, those items, we will create a table here with a form. So that table contains set of items. Each item is consists of a text a checkbox, a title or a description of the item and delete button. Also, the user is able to select any of those items. He can select the item and uh, edit inside the first row. The first row is going to be static, contains text box and the uh, submit button. If the user select any item, then he can edit that item from that text box when he clicks submit, so that item will be updated. Or he can click uh, new and Type inside the text box, click submit, so the form is going to uh, create a new item for that user. Regarding checking and unchecking item, it's just about clicking the checkbox, remove uh, the same thing, just click the delete button and that's it. So now in this session, we are going to show all the items for that plan and create a new item. Now to get started, first I have to inject the to do item service we have created in the previous session. To do items service call it items service like that okay sorry now I'll come here and I will create a new region just to organize the code a little bit call it items okay now the first variable I want to create is a list of to do item okay call it items new then I will create another field also of type to do item called selected item equals null by default. Okay, now here get the plan by id async. There is a function, yeah, this one get plan by id. In this way, it returns the plan here uh, with the result. So the plan also contains the and set of uh, items that are related for that plan. So I'm going to set items equals to result dot record, which is the plan dot to do items. Okay, I'm going to convert it to, to list like this. Okay, great. So now I have all the items. I can iterate over them in the component above in the HTML and show them. But before I'm going to create the uh, create function. So async task insert item async yeah we have also to create the model for that form to submit edit or uh, create it's of type to do item request call it item model equals new one okay great now for create is busy equals true equals false and here uh, for adding any item, the item is related to a specific plan, the plan we are in actually because when we redirect for this component, we have a parameter here, we send it in the query or in the URL called ID, which is the ID of the plan. So whenever I want to submit uh, an item, I have to specify the plan ID for it. So I will set it here, uh, plan ID equals to the ID parameter. Okay, then I can send the result, send the request, sorry, uh, 
items service dot create item async then I can basically add the model now check if result dot is success else okay now if the item added successfully I can just basically add it to the items list result dot record now if it failed I'm going to show an alert with an error show error alert yeah or message great now the insert item async is done now the form uh, there is as you know an property for the form which is an event called pack called uh, uh, on valid submit uh, this one the same form is going to be used for add and edit so I will create a function here call it submit form submit form async or submit item form async okay and here I will check if the selected item is equals to null then the process is add and I will call insert item async and here I have to check else I have to call that date okay now let's go to the HTML and create the table with the form so I will start with the form sorry edit form set the model for it to uh, item model okay great now I create the table the first row which is the static row that enables the user to manage uh, the items here I will add a button that's going to refresh or clear the content of the text box and uh, remove the selected item or remove the selection sorry uh, call it threads important text is going to be the sign which indicates a new button style equals to button style dot danger info light I choose info then button type I don't want this button to submit the form so I'll set the type to button like this then create another cell inside that table it's a resin text box yeah placeholder item description and then bind the value to item model description okay great that's enough and the last one is the submit button I'll copy this one like this paste it here submit and the type is submit primary okay now here we have to add the data annotation validator to show the validation summary and validation okay great now other rows will show the items for that plan so I will iterate over the, the items list okay then inside I'll create a row the first cell is going to have a checkbox. Or I can use reds and checkbox value is equals to item dot uh, is done like this. And yeah, just now in the second cell, I'm going to just type span. Then I will type item dot description inside it, okay. And the third one is just basically uh, the delete button. So I'm going to copy this one, paste it here, change this one to danger. I don't want this anymore, and I've set it to button because it's not to submit the form. Now we call it like this. 
then here we can specify the on click function is to just <coughs> uh, remove that item. So now what I have still to do is just to set on valid submit, which basically just call submit item form async this way. So if there is a selected item, it's going to update it. Otherwise, it's going to insert a new one. In our case, at the moment, it's just going to insert that item because we don't have update. Okay, this one is awaitable. And I think we are just ready to test that. Yeah, sorry, something very important we have forgot, which is also, if you remember, uh, here on the uninitialized async, uninitialized async for the page we have set the access token for plan service. We have also to set the access token for that item service. Dot access token is equals to this one this way, or we can access token. like this yeah this is better okay now we can run it okay go to plans okay now we can also set this to URL so when the user can click it we navigate to the edit or details of the plan like this okay now it tries to retrieve the plan this is the plan there is no item here as you can see so now we can add a new one let's do this by I'll call it the first item in the plan click submit we have to disable this button as well Okay, the item has been created successfully as you can see here. This is the item checkbox. It's not working yet. Throw an exception. You will see that when we will update the status of the item. And we have the delete button as well. Okay, that's great. The design just needs a little bit uh, changes, but in general, the function is working good. After adding the plan, we have to refresh this one and set it to nothing and it's going to be good. Let's navigate back to the plans and try to open that plan again. Okay, retrieve that plan. This is the first item existing here. Everything's good. Now we can move to the second part, which is update uh, that item. Okay, and see you in the next video.